and we're going to see what Chef Scott can pull off today in the kitchen. Katie joining Chef Scott from Pinzone's Italian Village. And within the village, you have a restaurant. Mm -hmm. Tell us about this one where you're making this recipe from. Right, uh, Isabella's. We've been working real hard the past year or so to get it open up. And uh, basically on the on De La Mar side of the property is uh, Isabella's, our new steakhouse. Okay, so totally different menu mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. from Penzones. Great food, both restaurants. And there's also a wine bar, there's a deli. Mm -hmm. But let's talk about what you're making today and what we're going to need to make it. Uh, the influence, uh, the flavors influence on the menu is going to be south of France, northern Italy. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, we're actually going to do a um, gastrique, which is a, um, it's like a caramelized sugar sauce that uh, kind of a takeoff of an agrodolce. It's kind of weird, but uh, but uh, it's very, very classic, very good. It sounds interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what do we have here? Uh, I'm gonna, uh, just going to do some sugar here. Okay. And the recipe is on the, on the web page there. You can follow that. Yeah, Studio 10 page, fox10tv.com. And basically what we're, we're just caramelizing the sugar here. Mm. And that's just going to caramelize a little bit. Okay, so stir for a minute or so? Yeah, until it's going to get a little brown. Okay. I'm turn it up a little bit. Uh, my advice when you, if, if you're cooking this at home, if you have a flame burner, mm -hmm. uh, when you add the uh, liqueur, turn the flame off uh -huh. because, yeah. 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 Howie. It'd be man, exciting. <laughs> a little too exciting. Meanwhile, uh, speaking of sugar, while this is browning, you have a new pastry chef at Penzone, so some new desserts. We do. Uh, Carla is fantastic. Uh, very creative, and uh, we, 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 she and I have been talking a lot about the flavors and what we want to do. Uh, but she's like a limoncello cheesecake, which has been huge. And we're trying to decide on do we do a creme brulee or do a cheesecake mm. for Isabella, so we decided to do a creme brulee cheesecake. So oh. we actually yeah, caramelized the top of the... Uh, Cheesecake. This it's sounds awesome. fantastic. What are we making? Days this? are always yeah. fun. <laughs> <laughs> we have to make this. Everyone, yeah. make everyone yeah. comes to the kitchen immediately when they I see bet. her walking yeah. with her newest. Uh, she has yeah. tiramisu mousse and panna cotta. She does all kind of stuff. Yeah. Sounds good. Having so you fun. have good dinner. Then of course you can't skip dessert with the new pastry chef. All right. Uh, we're going to, uh, as you see, it's starting to, to, to bubble a little bit. Uh -huh. uh, this will probably actually take, take a few minutes. But okay. what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this, uh, this sham board here. back. Okay. <laughs> Katie right. is sick. Right. We're backing up. <laughs> now, if, if the sugar gets really tight on you, um, it, when you add a cold liquid to it, it's going to seize up, and you'll have to just lower the heat down a little bit. It's a little technical, but, but you can smell it. Mm -hmm. smell, smell the raspberry in there? Yeah. That's great. That yeah. smells phenomenal. Now, we're going to add this raspberry puree. And then we're going to just let this reduce for a little bit. Yeah, that smells great. to get on that? Yes, it does. Wow. But it's going to reduce like a, like a syrup, almost. And you're making the quail today, but this mm -hmm. is something maybe you put it on chicken as well? Absolutely. Like I said, this is a classic from a, actually a duck l'orange, where they would actually take an orange uh, juice and make a gastric with orange and serve it with duck, which you can do with turkey, you can do it with chicken, um, anything, like a fowl, I mean, any side. Okay. So about how much longer do you need to have it stove top? Just, uh, just a few more minutes, so it's, just to get some consistency. It's practically done right now. We're just going to let the, um, just let it reduce down a little bit, get the right thickness, but the flavors are there, so we can use it. It smells great. Make sure you get this recipe, fox10tv.com. That's all on the Studio 10 page. We'll start working on the quail when we come back. Coke. That last segment made me want to go to the bathroom. <laughs> 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 Sorry. Sometimes I just say something inappropriate. We're in the kitchen with the folks from Pinzone's Italian Village. This is Scott and Katie. What are we working on today? <laughs> well, I don't know how to follow that. But, uh, I know. Yeah, what a welcome. Right. Thank all right. you. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We are anyway, if you're at, still yeah. hungry, yes. uh, we have a great, uh, actually we've taken the, the quail and we've stuffed it with some artichokes, seasoned it really good. And we're going to brown it off a little bit and then we'll finish it off in the oven. All right, sounds like a plan. Now, you said you seasoned it a little bit. What did we season with again? Uh, I like to just use like a little bit of garlic pepper, mm -hmm. a little bit of a uh, cracked pepper, and a little bit of a sea salt. All right, sounds good. Lots going on at Pizzones coming up. We mentioned this is October. We're in pink for breast cancer awareness. You've got an interesting themed event coming up this month. Tell us about that, Katie. Yes, um, for the whole month of October, we are having Save the Frittatas. Ah. And uh, you can create your own frittata for uh, no extra charge for the whole month of October. Um, and the whole city of Fairhope is actually doing Paint the Town Pink. Okay. Um, so pretty much all of the downtown merchants will really be on board for the whole month. Um, 
doing different specials and things like that. Very cool. Anything we can do to help get the word out, eventually raise more money, raise more research, or do more research, and help out would be fantastic. Now that smells really good once yes, it got it in there. Thank you. Um, I'll tell you, we were saying earlier about doing a little classic twist on, um, on French. We're having so much fun at Isabella's. I mean, the, the, the creativity, um, the, the staff that we have on hand, we're really, everybody's excited, feeding off each other, and they're like, hey, what about this? What about that? You know, and that creative, you know, we'll, we'll do that. We, we talked about doing the, the duck, and I said, well, no, let's do quail instead. And you know, it's, just, it's just a lot of fun. I really, really, the, the feedback's been fantastic, and really just invite you to come out and try it. That is awesome, and I, I'm a real big fan of creative environments. I always mm -hmm. think that's when the best kind of work comes out, whatever you're doing, and food would definitely be no exception to that. Always trying something new, trying to mix and match, come up with some great dishes, and this is one of those that we're looking at there. So, how long should the folks, if they're trying to do something like this at home, how long do they need to cook quail? How do you cook quail as opposed to chicken or something like that? Quail is actually considered a fowl, so it doesn't have to be cooked, overcooked like you would like chicken. I mean, chicken you have to cook at 165 degrees. This actually be served like, almost like medium rare. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, good tip. So we're going to continue to work on that. We've got the uh, raspberry topping that's mm -hmm. this is right yep. here. And um, if you're curious, we had discussed earlier whether we are technically south of France, and we are. Everything south of New York, we learned, <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. is south of France in relation to North America. So there you go. A fun fact for you this morning, some great food for you this morning, and some inappropriate comments earlier to start the cooking segment, guys. <laughs>